earthquake in Haiti. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. The question of how many people have died here continues to be bandied about. We've heard all kinds of numbers, perhaps 100,000 dead. You know, it was heart shattering to see just the videos and the pictures that were on the news. And it was like, wow, you know, that's devastating. You know, my heart really just drew to the, the heartache that the country was experiencing. Over the Christmas break that year, we had put together an adoption package and we had decided as a family that we would adopt from Haiti. And so then as we were watching the news unfold, we were just devastated thinking what we decided as a family is now changing. Shortly after that, they had announced in our youth group, we're going to go down to Haiti and help do what's needed of us there. It really wasn't until those last couple of days when I first met Junior. I was in the orphanage for two years, so I kind of like learned a little bit because a lot of my friends previously got adopted to different places and they left, and I was like, so it's kind of be the same thing that happens to me. It took a while, so we had a, a great amount of anticipation and uh, love built up for him already, and just uh, were excited for that day to bring him home. When he first came home, he wanted to play soccer, and but his older brother played football, and soccer season was sort of ending. So it was too late to put him in soccer. So I said, well, it'll be best to get you in a sport so you can get immersed in language. And I want to get you started so that you'll be able to at least communicate and understand a little bit when you get to school. Pretty talented uh, little soccer player, nine years old when, when I saw him. And um, he didn't have any idea what American football was. One thing that always kept me from being broken in half was I was fast. I would never get tackled. Every time I'll get the ball, I'll either run straight towards the out of bounds, making sure if they're not, if they're gonna hit me, I'll go out of bounds. But if they're not, I'll keep ready. He had a lot of speed uh, and uh, agility. He's very physical even then, as far as uh, athleticism. And he came home like really, really small and skinny, and we just, you know, <laughs> we tried to get some meat on him. You know, off the field, he's a gentle giant, but on the field, he's not so much that gentle giant. He's a beast. <laughs> I love watching him play. Over the last year, uh, just seeing an incredible amount of maturity with Junior. I think making the decision to enroll early at the University of Michigan is a decision and something that shows character in and of itself because all of a sudden, uh, you're on a timeline that, that not many other high school students are on. I think that his teammates look up to him and regard him, you know, highly for his talents and leadership. My name is Junior Colson. I play linebacker at Ray One High School, Brownwood, Tennessee. There are certain things that are very tangible that can validate all the hard work you put in for, for years and years. And, and for these kids, being named an All-American is probably tops on the list of you know, something that's tangible that you can look to. You'll always remember the rest of your life. You'll always have that accolade. All the hard work I've put in, it's been recognized, it's been shown that it wasn't just for nothing, that I am recognized as one of the best. In a lot of ways, it's sort of like an Olympic gold medal. And he had a shorter time period to earn this medal, and, and he's done it. I just want to keep going, kept pushing myself to be the greatest. You know, I was just looking at pictures this morning and the t-shirt that he was wearing when he came home said that, I'm going to change the world. And I really truly believe that he is one person at a time. And it started with us and our family. Everything you give him, he reciprocates back. And it's just amazing and he is, he's a joy. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.